Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, many of you may remember that Elon Musk just recently purchased shares in Twitter, but now he is going above and beyond right that a lot of people are calling this now a hostile takeover because he wants the whole thing. He no longer wants to be just a stakeholder. He wants to buy out Twitter completely and own the whole thing. And like I said, many are likening this to be um, a hostile takeover. Um, he is offering over $43 billion to buy out Twitter. Um, it's currently valued at $37 billion, but he is offering $43 billion in which, whoo, uh, what he has in mind is basically he wants uh, Twitter to be um, an uncensored platform. He believes that uh, censorship is, is something that is not needed in society. Um, anyway, take a listen at this very short report. Of course, I will be right back. Elon Musk is sort of becoming like billionaire activist investor Carl Icahn. The Tesla CEO, who has a 9.2% stake in Twitter, offered to buy the social media platform for $54.20 a share on Thursday. Here is what Musk wrote in a letter to Twitter chairman Brett Taylor, as disclosed in a new SEC filing. I invested in Twitter as I believe in its potential to be the platform for free speech around the globe, and I believe free speech is a societal imperative for a functioning democracy. However, since making my investment I now realize the company will neither thrive nor serve this societal imperative in its current form. Twitter needs to be transformed as a private company. As a result, I am offering to buy 100% of Twitter for $54.20 per share in cash, a 54% premium over the day before I began investing in Twitter and a 38% premium over the day before my investment was publicly announced. My offer is my best and final offer and if it is not accepted, I would need to reconsider my position as a shareholder. Twitter has extraordinary potential. I will unlock it. Twitter shares, TWTR, surged 13% in pre-market trading. Twitter confirmed in a press release that it received Musk's offer and said the board of directors will carefully review the proposal to determine the course of action that it believes is in the best interest of the company and all Twitter stockholders. It would be hard for any other bidders consortium to emerge and the Twitter board will be forced likely to accept this bid and or run an active process to sell Twitter, said Wedbush analyst Dan Ives. Okay, so this can be looked at in a number of different ways. Some people can see it as a positive or negative, okay? Um, the positive part is that uh, what he's saying about censorship is so true. Can you imagine if he were to buy YouTube, <laughs> you know, because uh, censorship is at an all-time high. They are uh, quieting things that um, need to be said, right? Um, and so... It seems as though he is taking a bid at trying to alleviate some of that, trying to get rid of the censorship. Um, on the other hand, it could be dangerous too, because as you see, um, it was used by the former administration to kind of hype up his base, and they were able to do something uh, that took the, the nation, took the world by storm uh, when these people decided that they were going to go in and take over the Capitol, you see. Um, hmm... So there's a number of different ways you can look at all of this, right? Um, some things you feel like need to be censored, some things you don't, right? But freedom of speech is something that he seems to be all for, but um, you can't be free. A lot of people say this, you can't be free of the consequences if you uh, say things that incite certain behaviors, inciting violence and um, the things that took place on January 6th, right? Uh, my thing is this also is, he is heavy into AI. When you consider the fact that Elon Musk is too heavy and is very heavy into AI, uh, you have to ask yourself, um, is this, you know, this banning of censorship that he wants to do with Twitter, is this a way of collecting the data that will be needed to sink some people in the future? You know what I mean? Um, because um, I've heard that every tweet is stored somewhere. You know the statement, anything you say can and will be used against you. So um, is this one of those scenarios 
to where a tweet that you tweeted um, 10 years ago, just say down the line, we're, we're 10 years down the line, and a tweet that you tweeted today would be a 10-year-old tweet that could come back and haunt you. Could it be something like that? What is the thinking behind this, you know, this this buyout, this takeover that he's attempting? Sometimes you want to look at people and say, oh, they, they seem like a good, decent person, but then you never really know under the surface what is going on. So like I said, this could be looked at in a number of different ways. It could be looked at in a positive, and it could also be looked at in a negative is some censorship required or no? Because I do I do realize that a lot of people are frustrated because there are things that they have said that have been censored and they've been penalized for. And you're saying to yourself, that wasn't even that bad for such a harsh reaction or response, especially in a country that says you have freedom of speech. So like I said, it's kind of hard to know What is the best course of action for this? All I know is the way he's throwing this money around, that's something else. To even own 9% is a big deal, right? A little more than 9% uh, worth of shares is what he owns. But he says, look, I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. That's interesting. Very interesting. Um, They said that although Musk is the world's richest person, how will he find the $43 billion in cash has yet to be revealed, okay? Uh, this becomes a hostile takeover offer, which is going to cost some serious amounts of cash, said Neil Campling, head of the TNT research of Maribod Equity Research. He will have to sell a decent piece of Tesla stock to fund it or a massive loan against it. Okay, Uh, this is what some are saying. Of course, everyone is queuing in on this because it's a very interesting thing to consider uh, when someone wants to take over something and make it private, uh, something as big as Twitter, they want to um, take the control, I guess, off of communications and put it back into the hands of the people. Again, that could be a good thing, but, but it can also be disastrous. So there's no one way to look at this. Anyway, I want to uh, hear your thoughts on this. Of course, I just shared mine. I see it in both ways as a a good thing or a bad thing, okay? What are your thoughts on this? Is this a good idea uh, that Elon Musk should be able to take over or buy out uh, Twitter shares so that he can release or get rid of all of these uh, censoring things, the censorship that's been taking place over the past three years? The censorship has been off the chain And he wants to relieve that a little bit. What are your thoughts? Uh, In the comment section below, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.